The Kaiser Family Foundation presents Health08.org, election news, analysis, and events. Linda Sterley, thank you for joining me today. Well, thank you, Ms. Judd, for giving ANA the opportunity to have a conversation with you about health care reform. On your website, uh, comprehensive health care reform is stated as a top priority. Why? Well, we believe it's one of the most pressing issues facing the nation, uh, health care reform. And there's two things that we believe need to happen relative to health care reform. First of all, we believe that there's an absence or lack of, of health security. And so we believe that needs to be addressed. Meaning the certainty that there will be care that when there you there need will, it. Absolutely, that there will be care when you need it. When we think about what's going on, in our economy, there's skyrocketing costs, and therefore we see employers shifting more of the cost to the patient, to the family, in terms of the cost of their premiums, the cost shares, and sometimes even actually decreasing the benefits that they have. So uh, that is really, we believe, uh, a major issue. And then we also have the uninsured, the 47 million that we're all aware of. Um, and then we have the 25 million that are underinsured that are really just only marginally better than the uninsured because with the increased cost of health care and the fact that the burden is being shifted to the individual, in many instances their care, even their health care benefit, is inadequate and many of them can't frankly afford the benefit even if it is offered. And so roughly about one in four individuals in this country really have, don't have health security, health care security. And so you have, you've identified the problems. And actually In your there's, view, sure. what, are, what are some of the top solutions, particularly as it would impact the people you represent, the nurses? Well, some of the top solutions that we would need to look at is, again, comprehensive health care reform. And when we say that, then essentially we mean that we want high quality, guaranteed high quality care that's affordable so that everyone uh, has an opportunity to access that. But there really needs to be a vision um, for our country in regard to health care and that benefit. And if we go back in time to 1978, the World Health Organization, of which the U.S. is one of the participating countries, actually uh, passed a resolution there that said that um, there should be you know, a minimum health care benefit for all individuals. And yet here we are 30 years later, and um, among industrialized countries, uh, the U.S. is still the only one that hasn't made that commitment to the American people. Well, how does the Nurses Association believe that the progress can be made? Well, how we believe that progress can be made is in a couple of arenas. Um, one of the things, like I said, is making sure that, that it's a guaranteed benefit. And um, in our ideal world, that would be um, in terms sing of single payer. Our country has about 40 plus years of experience with that. But we understand that we don't live in an ideal world. And we also understand um, that to ensure that this is a guaranteed benefit for all, that that means there's going to have to be compromise. And so um, we're willing to work with whoever uh, in regard to trying to move forward in that arena understanding that flexibility and compromise will be part of what we have to do. Um, so that's one component that you would need to look at. The other thing that we believe is that there needs to be more public uh, expansion of, of public coverage, understanding that that still probably needs to be combined you know, with private health plans. And so we would look to uh, possibly the Federal Employees Health Benefits Program as a model that we might start with in terms of you know, what something might look like in the future. And then hopefully um, over time, um, look at actually ensuring that we have kind of apples to apples so that- What do you mean? What I mean is that we identify kind of a minimum level of coverage, el eligibility, those kinds of things that you would have in your public system as well as in your private system. So that then really, given that we are kind of a marketplace economy, that then we really could compare apples to apples. But why I'm wondering where you started on the single payer plan. Why does the association believe that in an ideal world that would be the best plan for America? 
Because we believe there's 40 plus years of experience in our country with that. And it's a system that's in place and uh, again has worked for certainly the older end of our population and certainly for the younger end, it doesn't work quite as well. I would think we would all agree there's more holes there. But again, we have experience with that, and at least that's a starting place in terms of where we might start. And then I guess the final thing that we think, you know, as a nation that we might would want to focus on would be trying to make sure that, that it is about health care and not just about coverage. And so again, then we want to look at quality, and ANA has endorsed um, the 2001 IOM report, mm -hmm. Crossing the Quality Chasm. We believe those six aims really should be the foundation or framework of any health care reform that's done in this country in terms of the patient should be there in terms of safe care, that it needs to be efficient, that it needs to be patient-centered, that it needs to be timely, that it needs to be effective, and it needs to be equitable. But we also believe that access is an important component. When we think of access, we think first, of course, about affordable. Mm -hmm. and that nobody should be denied and that everybody really should be in. And then we think about the availability of the care in terms of how easy is it to, um, in terms of convenient times, convenient locations, uh, do we have good geograph geographic distribution in terms of urban and underserved areas? Do we actually have a standard in regard to emergent, urgent and standard care across the nation knowing that within a certain period of time you should be seeing uh, depending upon what your care needs might be.